Phil, a 2-1 victory today in the Emirates FA Cup. You must be delighted with the win. Immensely. It was a really good game. Difficult conditions. Um, we know Mansfield been flying high, you know, apart from the defeat on Tuesday that hadn't been beaten for something like 20 games. Um, but listen, I thought we were immense. Two goals we scored really good, particularly the first one. We had other chances in the first half. I know they did, but we had some real clinical moments of great football, which um, we didn't quite capitalise on. And, uh, probably the performance warranted us to come at half time further ahead. And we had to dig deep because obviously, you know, they're a good side and they threw everything at us. We got the second and straight away they've, they've scored to respond and the crowd were up. But the way we stood strong tonight as, as a group, you know, it was just a really great performance from the boys. And I said to the lads before the game that, you know, what's so important that we respect the history of Wrexham Football Club in the FA Cup. I think that's important. You know, we've built a great relationship up with, with people in Wrexham about the way we've performed and conducted ourselves. And the FA Cup means a lot. You know, we've got a great tradition in it. And whether we win, lose or draw tonight, it was important we put in a performance um, you know, which our supporters back home watching on TV and the ones who made the long trip could be very proud of and I think we've done that. How pleasing is it to not just progress but to do it in the manner in which we did? Yeah, it was, listen, it was a, a tough night to play but you know, when we passed it tonight I thought we were sort of a little Christmas in our play. Um, you know, we knew that the Diamond Mansfield set up, you know, we spoke about the, the game here last time where in the first half we, we didn't pass the ball well enough and we gave the ball back to him too many times. Tonight we passed the ball really, really well. Um, and to exploit the diamond you've got to switch the play, get the ball to your wing backs, find you know Elliot and, and James Jones in the two number eight positions. And I felt when we did that and then had obviously Moles and Dolks running down the side of the two centre backs, you know, we really implemented what we set out to do very well. You mentioned Sam Dolby there, got the opener, but almost could have had a hat trick even by half time he played the men's, didn't he? No, he was the link up play between them was, was good and, and Dolby will, will be a bit frustrated, but strikers have got to keep getting in there and you know it was a great goal. He scored an emphatic finish. Um, then he's had a similar one which is in the bar with the thing the keeper may have saved that one. And in all that I felt we should have had a penalty when, when Flint's thrown his right arm at the ball. Um, and in the second half, there was a, there's another close call for a penalty. But I said to the lads, look, let's not kind of let the ref, the frustration with that affect us tonight because it's a great opportunity to progress in round two, but also beat one of our rivals at the top end of, of uh, League Two. Obviously, Mansfield have said that had their first defeat in all competitions on Tuesday night, which she makes it even more of an impressive victory. Yeah, very good side. You know, we know that when we came here a few weeks ago. Um, Enormous respect for, for what Nigel is doing here. It's a good side, but so are we. And uh, you know, we showed good quality tonight uh, when it mattered most. Paul Mullin, last year's Golden Ball winner in the competition, opened his account. I'm sure he must be pleased with it. Yeah, he, he was a constant threat tonight, but both of those two, because obviously when the setup Mansfield have got, the fullbacks play quite high, so they leave space down the sides, and and you know they really did exploit that uh, moles and dolls tonight, and. Uh, you know, they were tireless in the work for the team and you've got to be, you know, when you come to a place like this, you can't carry players who are not prepared to run out of possession and everybody, everybody did the job for the team, including the subs which came on, who came on to it. Maybe the one negative from the evening, Andy Cannon going off injured in the second half, maybe early, too early to tell, but how is it? Yeah, he's going to go for an x-ray tomorrow. It, it looks like an impact injury, um, he was in a lot of pain, but it's very difficult for me to assess or predict what that injury is going to be. Uh, and it is a shame because he was so good tonight, Andy, you know, he just is passive, his ability, like I said at the weekend, to receive the ball in tight situations is really good. And, um, you know, it's a blow for us and for him, as I always say, you know, injuries are part and parcel. And, um, you know, we've got to respond to that and someone else will get an opportunity. And just finally, you spoke about the support team before. Fantastic Trump support once again. Yeah, I think in these conditions as well, because the game was in doubt as well this afternoon, it was a pitch inspection, and, and to, to get the support like we did tonight was, was just incredible. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a good night for Wrexham Football Club. Thank you, Paul. Congratulations. Thank you.